Hi, I'm going to make a video real quick on the um, Pythagorean snail. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen and we'll go from there. Okay. All right, so um, what you're going to start off with is um, a line this way and a line this way. Okay, and then you're going to make a right triangle doing this. Okay. And you're going to start off with two. Okay, so both sides will be two. Okay, and so now you realize that this side is supposed to be equal to this side. I know I didn't draw it really well, but just know that this is two and this is two. So if they're both two, then we have to use the Pythagorean theorem to find this side right here. Okay, and so remember the Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Okay. So um, the C is always the hypotenuse, right? That's the longest side. And the two short sides are the A and B. You could switch them any way you want. Okay, so this is two squared plus two squared is equal to C squared. And then this will be four plus four, which is equal to C squared. So then that means that C squared is equal to, the, to eight. So what does that mean? That means that C is equal to the radical, to radical eight Okay, and if you split this off here, if you, um, I think we, we simplified square roots um, the other lesson. This is radical four times radical two. And the reason why we took out the radical four is because we know that this is two, two radical two. Okay, so now we know that this side is two radical two. Okay, what you're gonna do next is you're gonna draw another side I'm gonna draw with the line. You're gonna draw a sign, you're gonna put a 90 degree angle here. And what this becomes is, this is a 90 degree angle. This is the side of two. And so what you have to do is you have to find the next hypotenuse right here. Okay. And so what happens is this becomes the shorter side of this triangle right here, right? And then this is another short side. So if you do it this way, it's two squared plus two radical two squared is equal to c squared. And what you're gonna keep doing is you're gonna keep doing the Pythagorean theorem until you kind of get a snail figure. So this is four, this is four. And then what you do with this, you square the two, this outside two, so that's four as well. And then when you square the this right here, that just gets rid of the square root. So it's four times two, and that equals c squared. So this is eight plus four order of operations. So eight plus four. So this ends up becoming the square root, this is sorry, c squared is equal to 12. And so c is equal to radical or the square root of 12. And remember we could take out a four here, so it'd be four times three, right? And so that's two radical three. Okay, so this is two radical three, all right? So the next thing, we're gonna do again, this, this pace continues. So you're gonna draw another 90 degree angle here, right? Well, sorry, another set of two. This is gonna be a right angle. And then you're gonna draw another another hypotenuse right here. Okay, and so you're gonna keep drawing this again until it becomes a snail. Okay, so you maybe do it like four more times. So then let's do one more and then um, you could do the rest. Okay, so it'd be two squared plus two radical three squared is equal to c squared. So this is four plus and then two. So two squared is four. And then the square, if you two square the radical three, that just becomes three. So it's this is 12 here. This is plus four. So it becomes 16. C squared is equal to 16. So C is equal to the square root of 16. And in this case, it happens to be a perfect square. So this is four. Okay, so you really have to remember your square roots. Okay, uh, do this three more times. Okay, that same sequence where you're gonna put, draw another line of two here. So two squared plus four squared equals C squared and keep getting the new hypotenuse. Okay, once you get that, and once you show your, your Pythagorean theorem work and then decorate it a little bit, you should be able to get a pretty good grade for this um, assignment. Okay. Hope you're having, hope you're doing well. Hope you had a good winter break. I'll see you later. Bye.